Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to Angie's Diamond Painting Adventures. How is everybody doing today? If this is your first time stumbling across me, hello, my name is Angie. If you are coming back to spend some time with me once again, thank you very much. I hope everybody is doing well today. Um, I have a little bit of uh, this and uh, that from Amazon, so these were all separate orders, and instead of doing, you know, one video for one small order, I decided to collect them all together and give you a full video. All right. We are going to save the tube for last. I know you're probably wondering what the heck is in there. I will show you in just a moment. So, in this package, we have, oh yes. So, I have a, a pickup tool that has a wax end to it right there and as you can see I have pretty much worn <laughs> I've worn it out okay I use this pen for my special drills I absolutely love it yeah I think it's time to replace it so went on Amazon I found the replacement I will have it linked in the description box of what this is called Let's see if I can open up the container because I do want to show you guys how to change that out. Some people, especially my new viewers, my new diamond painters, they do not know that you can switch the heads of this out. And this is giving me a fit to open. Yeah. Yay. Okay, there we go. Got the tape off. So, let's see. Which color should I pick? Yeah, <laughs> you guys knew I was going to go for that one. Yeah. I mean, it is a pink pen. It's got pink crystals in it. So, this is what you do, guys. You simply hold this part here, twist it backwards, and it will pop right off. There you go. Okay. So, we will open up this one. Oh. Once again, where's my pull here tab? <laughs> And we will take this out and we will simply put it in there and twist it back on. There you go, guys. That pen is ready to go for my special diamond paintings. Yeah. Yay. All right. So that was number one. Number two I got, you guys know I like to enhance my canvases with some sparklers and ABs and all that fun jazz. Well, guess what I found on Amazon, guys? Yeah, I was shocked. We have some crystal ABs from Amazon. Now, I will have the link, well, I'll have the link for everything that I'm showing today in the description box down below. I will have the link for these. Now, you will have to go and change the size to either 2.5 millimeters if you want to get it for squares or 2.8 if you want to get it for rounds. But I did get the 2.8 because I do a lot more round diamond paintings than I do squares. So. If you decide you want to get this, just please make sure you click that size and then click whatever size you need, either 2.5 millimeter or 2.8 millimeter. But I thought that was really cool. I did not know that Amazon actually sold these. And they said it has about 1,400 drills in this pack. So that was very, very cool. And the last thing that I have that I have been holding on for a little while is a diamond painting. Yes. So I just opened up the top, guys. So as you guys know, if you've been following me for some time, you guys know I love my glow in the dark. Well, guys, this is not 
a glow in the dark. But I saw this image and I knew because I have all those glow in the dark paintings, I knew I was going to have lots and lots and lots and lots of leftover glow in the darks. So I decided that I wanted to find an image that I could swap out the white for glow in the dark. Here is the basic goodie bag. Wax boat pen. No baggies. Here are the drills for this beautiful painting. And now I will show you what I got. Yes, it says it is a 30 by 40. It might actually be a 30 by 40 because that's quite big. Um, I didn't grab my tape measure. Shame on me. But yes, guys, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. It is a fairy sitting on the moon. I figured I could outline, outline, you know, I can talk today, outline the moon and the fairy's wings and make them glow in the dark. Yes. So that is my plan for this particular picture. We're going to go through the drills real quick. Alrighty. So what do we have in here? We have some regular black. We have some clear. Looks like we have, yes, we have two bags of clear. And we have some yellow or gold. F. I don't even know what the heck that means, guys. A, B, F, F. Is that the, let's check. Oh, this is one, two, three, four, five. Uh-oh, did I get the wrong beads? Y, X. When you want to check the beads, guys, you go for this right here, Y, X, two, O, five. Oh, this says Y, X, two, O, five. Hmm. Okay. It's S. It's not FS. The symbol is S. It's the very first one. Oh, because there we go. It's S. And then we have the A, which is the clear. And then the 3 is the 310. This only has six colors in it. Then we have some. Oh, these are pretty, pretty. Yes, look at that. That is gorgeous. I don't know if you would call them like flor florets, floral. Very, very pretty. And it does have an AB coating on it. That's pretty. I like that. Then we have some rainbows going on in here. Hello. <laughs> yes, we have some AB marquees. Oh. And then we have some teardrop with a B coating. There you go. That is it for the drills for that. But I can almost guarantee you that the A's, um, I will probably only go through one of these bags because I believe, get up in here. Yeah, you see all those A's? I'm going to switch all of those A's out just in her wings and the moon for glow in the darks. There are some more A's in her dress. I will leave them alone. But the moon and her wings are going to be switched out for glow in the dark. I don't know if you guys can see the sparkle in that canvas, but there's some sparkles going on in there. Yeah. There's some sparkles going on. So that is what I bought this particular image for. Like I said, I have a ton of, well, you guys know, I have a ton of glow in the darks. So I have a ton of leftover glow in the darks. So I will be switching 
the clear crystals out for glow in the dark with this painting. Yes, yes. All right, guys, we are down to the last item, and the last item is what's in the tube? What is in the tube? So, guys, I did a painting for my aunt for Christmas. And, of course, this Christmas, uh, she lives in New York. I live in Maryland. This Christmas, because of COVID, she was not able to come down here to visit. So, I have been holding on to her painting. Well, she they uh, she did come to visit on in Easter, or on Easter, for Easter. And I was like, okay, so I'll get the frame, blah, 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 blah. Well, I bought the wrong size frame. Ouch. Yeah, totally wrong size for it. So I'm like, okay, well, now what am I going to do? So I was watching my buddy, Diamond Painting Jim, and he said, um, I just got these magnetic frames from, I believe he bought them also from Amazon. Okay, that's always lovely. Um, so I was like, okay. Let's try. Yeah, guys, my nail literally just popped off. <sighs> it's been happening. I don't know. So we have the hanging here, okay? And then you you put your diamond painting inside there. And then there you go. It will hang. And I bought the picture. Picture is like a 22 by 29 or 30 or something like that. I bought a 22 by 28. It's too small. So, I bought a 22 wide, so this will fit on, for the painting that I bought for my aunt. Yes. So, I will, link, I will leave a link in the description box down below of the video that Mr. Jim did explaining exactly how to cut your canvas, measure your canvas, and actually hang your canvas up on these magnetic frames okay so I will leave that in the description box down below for you guys but that's it guys so I got the replacement heads the magnetic frame I got some sparklers well not sparklers but AB drills AB crystal drills excuse me and I bought the beautiful fairy and the moon picture yes and uh that's it guys that that is that's my small amazon haul that i got for you guys today um at this point i will bid you all adieu but not before i remind you to always do what you love love what you do and always stay adventurous i love you guys Bye.